I'm waiting on a parcel. And you know how when it's one you really want, you just distract yourself with anything you want. I'll get it. No, not fair! The bulbs are here, the bulbs are here. Can I plant them now? Can I plant them now? Please, 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 please! Can I plant them now? No, you can't plant them yet, stop! Okay, so before you plant your spring bulbs, a few things to think about and a few things to do. Now, first thing, you'll need a cuppa and um, a bun. It's very important. <laughs> okay then, so, it's way heavier than expected. Um, we may have gone a bit mad this year. Bulbs have just arrived from Farmer Gracie, who are our go-to supplier for um, all things bulbalicious. That a new word? It is. Okay. Um, my house of Bulbalicious box. <laughs> right, do you want to do the honours? So basically, right, you wanted to get these planted. Yeah. It's quite exciting, I know, I'm quite excited too. Apart from the fact the weather is disgusting out there. Yeah. These are spring bulbs, meaning they're all going to flower in spring. So we do want to get them planted autumn time, but we want to make sure that we give these bulbs some time in the soil to start developing their roots and get settled, but not enough so that they're actually going to sprout and those green shoots are going to come up above ground in winter when they could get damaged. So it means we've got us here, we've got a few weeks yet. We usually plant our bulbs mid to late October or even November. But basically you want to get them in before the ground freezes. So let's get in here then. Because the first thing we're going to have to do is go through and check that all our order is there. We that did. Means we have to remember yeah. what we ordered because we got, got excited. Yeah. We, we did go a bit mad. Um, we spent a fortune on bulbs. But hey, you guys know how happy bulbs make me when they come up in spring. It's the first pop of colour in the garden. Well, I go get the list so we can be ashamed of how many bulbs we've bought. Don't bulb shame me. There will be no bulb no shaving on this shaving channel. This house. Let me get the list so we can celebrate our bulbs. Right, okay, so I've got the list. We've opened the box and two things you've found. So, we instruction leaflet, lots of details about your planting your bulbs and looking after things. And... Packing list. Ooh, this is cool. So, this little envelope that Kate's just opened is lots of little cards about your bulbs. So, what have we got? Uh, alliums. Okay, so what's on the card then? I'm just doing this so I can have a bite of my bun. Okay, so we've got background info, basics about planting them, how to plant them, some tips, and pictures of alliums. So there's one of these for each, so we've got alliums. And then an enemies. Tulips from Hamster Jam. Crocuses. Narcissus. Oh, and some postcards as well. Cool. Just so, some, some arty postcards. So if we don't get our order and we don't have the right bulbs, it's okay because you're quite liking... The I quite like the packaging <laughs> and the thing and the pretties. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay. Fridlaria. You're about to see the next bit then when we go through our list. So let's go through then. So what have we got? And I'll check off the list. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I see how I have to read them because they're all going to have um, Latin names. Tuberginia. It's a scylla. And I'm not trying to pronounce the second word because it's about 55 syllables long. But it's a scylla. Scylla rosea? Scylla tuber... Tuberginia. Tuberginia, okay. It's that so one. So we should have one packet of that and it should have 10 bulbs in it. That's what it says on the packet. Excellent. So what you can see then, the packet comes, it's the little pot polythene I was going to say. Paper. Little paper envelope and your bulbs are in here. It's got all the details on front. But the first thing you have to do then, I'll let you do this, open is it. open it because you need to store your bulbs so that they've got air and they're cool until it's time to plant them. But also, we want to open it anyway because we want to go through them all and check what we've got and it's all okay. Very We've got artwork yeah. on the sides of the bags. That's cool. It's very crinkly. So we should have ten, and they should all look lovely. There's one got stuck. Ooh, they're actually multicoloured. That's quite cool. One. Don't drop them, Catherine. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we got an extra one. There's eleven. There's eleven. <gasps> Bonus. Okay, so you to, actually, I'll get the pen and yeah. I'll correct the packet. Correct the packet because we got the bonus. Well, that way I wouldn't think I've I've lost one or I've not planted something if I've got a different number. Okay. Okay. Do you want to take that? I'll do this then. I've moved this because I realised nobody could see you. Sorry. You were behind the box. I put my wife behind the box. At least you didn't put me in the corner. There you go. So obviously it's going to take us a bit of time to go through and check all of these. So we're going to do that and we will join you again in a second. But that's your first job then. Now that you've got your cuppa and your bun, go through your box of bulbs and check that you've got everything you expected and they're all in good health. And while you're doing that, we'll do the same and we'll catch you in a second. Okay, so all present and correct. Yep. Um, so how many bulbs did we buy? At 298. How many was that there? Two. The camera's there, honey. 298. It's so easy to do though. You're just scrolling through the website. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> ooh, ooh, Right. Hey. Let's have a wee look then. Here's some of the things we bought. I've got a spreadsheet actually, so... Um, sorry, we could have... Fine. Fine. Yeah, we'll have to update my spreadsheet now. It would have added up for me and everything. In fact, Oh, wait a minute. I said 298 bulbs, but uh -huh. there were two extras. So it's actually 300 because two of the packets had an extra bulb in it. 300 spring bulbs. Where are we going to put these? Everywhere. <laughs> so we're laughing and joking then about the amount of bulbs we've bought. But we did actually go around and have a really good think about what we needed, where it's going to go. And we were thinking about the colours, the sizes, and when they're going to flower. Because one of the things we wanted to think about was, when would we have colour in the garden? And when would that pass? And we wanted to make sure that we had different bulbs coming up at different times to try and get as much colour for as long as we could. It wasn't a particularly nice day and we were out doing it either. Yeah, a bit like today. There were three alliums in that planter that we want to keep, but the rest of the bulbs didn't really come up in there, so we could just completely turn those over. And if we can find the braces for those planters, because they've gone... Right, plans then. Colourful corner. Yeah. I'm guessing alliums? Yes, quite like some alliums. Because we had a couple in here, which I which were short ones. But I think if we can do something with a bit of mix of heights, because this this has worked nicely having a mix of heights with yeah, the cosmos, cosmos. things. So if we can do that with spring things, that would be fab. Do you want any tulips or anything in here? That might be nice, because we have had red tulips in here bef and pink yeah. ones in here before. I don't think they'll come back. I mean, they've been here about 10 years, yes, I think. Yes, but if we, can, if we have some nice, fresh, new ones, because we've got, we've got a range of sizes and heights of pots in here, so we can play about yeah. a bit with... Okay. Right, it's mega full just now, but <laughs> yes. the sunflowers will be gone, the cosmos will be gone. We're going to lift the dahlia tubers and they'll get put back in kind of May, June-ish. Yeah. This front bit, the osteopermin will still be there. Yes. But the bidens and marigolds will be gone. Yeah. So I've got the two end pieces and this front bit then. So that's That's, lots of that's quite a lot of space, which is good. And again, we could go... Auto deadheading. <laughs> Again, with the height, we could, if we've got lower, lower things at the front, mm -hmm. and some higher things at the ends. Yeah, because otherwise we kind of get lost here, unless it's like little lots to do or ground crocusy things or 
Yeah. Well, the little things, we've got the crocuses, we've got the pom-pom oxalis, uh, we also have the scylla. Oh yeah, because those are pink, there's a mm -hmm. pink one and a white one, isn't They're there? all like little things, so they could be quite good. Yeah, we could do lower, low things. Yeah. And of something big, because there are some... There are some shrubs in there that yeah. once, the, <laughs> once the dahlias are gone, the shrubs might put on a bit more growth when they get a bit more yeah. light. It'll be interesting to see with these because we've got these in the fence bed, or we had, and they die back over winter every year. It'll be interesting to see if the same thing happens. So it may be a case that we have to improvise a little bit depending on what happens with dahlia. Yeah. Right, okay. So, can you remember some of the things we got. Is there anything stuck in your head because you're super excited about it? There's lots of them and I want to plant them now. But I can't, but now. I'm not allowed to plant them now. No, that's okay. My thing that I'm super excited about, believe it or not, is a daffodil. Okay. This is from the woman who used to hate daffodils. Daffodils are everywhere. They're in the parks and everything so I always thought they were really boring <laughs> but this is where the spring bulb thing happened for me we got loads of daffodils cheap and like bean cure or something early on when we moved in here and we're building our garden and it's one of the very first things that comes up in spring so you have that whole long dark cold winter when nothing's really growing or at least it was when we first started gardening not anymore but then bang, daffodils. It was your first hint that spring was coming. So I now love daffodils. But the one that I'm excited about is called Rip Van Winkle. I remember now. <laughs> it's really cool and it's all like pointy and weird looking. So I'm quite excited about this one. This was full of your poppies, but it's going to be empty. Or potentially could be empty, so... Yeah, we could put some things in there if we've got... What could be good in there? Given it's the kind of the big view coming in, what height do you want? Probably don't want too tall because it's going to get lost a bit. Yeah. Could do the Rip Van Winkles in there. Yeah, yellow. Yes, yellow would stand nice because they're all. Because it stand out against the, the red. Yellows. Uh, the oh, they only get twenty centimeters tall, so that could be quite yeah, good. That could be a nice height. Yeah. What about you? I got so excited with so many of them, I can't remember what they all were now. There were lots of pretties. Well, I, I did, I went for unusual colours and well, this is the things thing, that we hadn't had before. You can get bulbs anywhere, but this is the thing. If you're going to use Farmer Gracie, one of the things is, apart from the quality, they are like top quality, but they tend to have a lot of the really unusual stuff that's hard to get. So, you know, if you want something a bit different, this is why you go for it. Tell you what, I'm going to give you this. I have got links here to everything we Ooh, bought. So pictures. So pictures. Excellent. Now that one, if I remember rightly, is that the drumstick? Allium. Yes. yes. So those are the ones we've already had and I loved them and I wanted more. So, so she got more. Pump on me ones. Okay, so this was our big feature for the bulbs last year. Yeah. And the year before, actually. And it looked to me so it was full of daffodils and tulips. Yeah, red and pink ones. Right. Big tall ones. However, those are all gone because... Never mind, it was us, we killed them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was an accident. It was an accident, yeah. But we're going to start from fresh with this. Now, at the minute, we've got the dahlias in here. Tubers will be lifted. Mm -hmm. And there's Rubecchia and... Coreopsis. Coreopsis in there. These are kind of great just now for that colour, but you know, the they frost will, will kill They'll die lot. back over winter, but they should come back up again next this year. time next year. But for that period at the start of the year, February onwards, it's going to be empty. Yeah. So this go. can be just go mad. Bulbness. Bulbitude. Right, I tell you what, we've got these pots have got the drumstick alliums in them. Yeah. We've got more of them coming. Tall. So that's an option. We've, yeah, so we've got quite a few that are kind of like. Uh, Fabio tulip you really liked that's the red one with the frilly, the frilly one yeah it's 50 centimetres tall so that might be a good one for here yeah and we could interplant it with some of the slightly shorter ones mm -hmm. uh, oh we've got some anemones 
Oh, I forgot about those. We don't have any of them out here, so that could be good. 30 centimetres tall. And they're three different colours, yeah. if I remember right. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot about them. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fabio. So this one's Fabio, because it's fabulous. It's got frilly edges. It's cool. So, okay, spring bulbs are meant to be fun. You know, don't get too serious. Just order the things that get you excited like this. Uh, irises. irises. Now. I love irises. Do you want to tell them why you've got a thing about irises? Well, because my... Growing up, my granny had irises in the front of the house. So whenever I was visiting my granny growing up, that was what you saw. At this. And then after my granny died, my mum always had irises. So we have irises. So, so your mum's gone now, so yeah, it's so our turn to have, have the irises. more irises, irises. Although these are dwarf ones rather than the tall ones, but they're the same colour as the ones that granny always had. OK, so front of the house then, you've done a bit of work lifting the canopy at everything. Yeah. Grasshopper. Oh, so it is. Um, so we could get some of the smaller stuff along the front. Now, I'm kind of thinking, just thinking back memories. Do you want to put the iris in here? Yeah. When we first moved here, you tried some iris there, but it was a bit overhung and it didn't do well. Yeah, because it wasn't getting enough light, but we could do yeah. that. What might be worth considering doing is improving the soil along the front here, because it's, it's still quite clay. Yeah, it's pretty rubbish. And to be honest, we haven't really done a lot with it, so what we might have to do then in the next couple of weeks... Take stones off. Give it a wee dig up, take some out, replace it with some nice new compost. And then... And then get the bulbs get in the bulbs when we've done that. Yep. Uh, tulip Little Beauty. Oh, those were funky as well. I think that's why I bought those ones, because they were funky. So they are pink, but the centre is blue and white, mm -hmm. like a... Yeah. And one again, of, very short ones. One of the things about tulips is when they're in full sun on a really sunny, glorious day, they open all the way out so you'll really see those centres. And then as it gets dark again, they'll start to close up a little bit again. So as you can tell, what happened was Kate went on the website. We sat on the couch and Kate was on the website and I was on the website on her iPads and Kate was like, that one, that one, and I did the buy-in. And Kate was like, and that one, and that one. And how many bulbs did we buy, honey? Ali and Purple Soul Sit Sensation, because we like we those. We like those. And Ali and Christophi, because we so, like those as well, because so that's the yeah. big... So these are Alliums we already one. have in the garden, and we love them. So we've so, got more. Yeah, so we've got more. But the Chris, Chris, Christophi, that's the one that's like the head of it, that size, mm -hmm. once it opens yeah. up. Some of the, the others are more compact, but that's mm -hmm. a big... Because that's the thing, you get all different sizes, colours, shapes of all these different things. So we have our bulbs, we've checked, everything is okay. Yes. None of them are squishy or look weird in any way. Now, next thing we have to do is store them for a few weeks until we're ready to go. Because I know. But as I said, if you plant too early, there's a chance they'll sprout too early and they could get damaged over yeah. winter and you don't want that. But you want them to take time while it's not freezing cold to just start getting the roots in there and getting settled. So mid-October for us through, again, everybody's different, but basically get them in before you get your freezes to give them time and then wait for spring when it gets exciting. Da, da, da. So they're going back in the box. <laughs> yeah. Well, so storing them then, because we've got a few weeks till we plant them, you want to store them somewhere cool and dry, really importantly. If they get warm, they will sprout. If they get wet, they could sprout or they could rot. Not ideal. Somewhere dark. Anything else? Not cold, not wet, not hot. Not like, yeah, that, I think that covers everything. <laughs> Sorry, I'd put you on the spot yeah, there because no, you're really leafless. <laughs> I thought I'll put them in this box, but... We might need a bigger yeah, box. We're going to need a bigger box. Because ideally I want to leave them like that with a... Packets open to let as much air in there as I possibly can. So um, we're going to have to go and find a bigger box and then um, maybe the cupboard in the kitchen because it's nice and cool and dark in there. Yep. Just for you guys then, you can get 10% off if you want to buy your spring bulbs. Farmer Gracie, 10% off. In the garden with Eli and Kate. Code at checkout. Happy bulb buying. I tell you what, because now you're all excited and you want to plant your bulbs. This video here is us planting our bulbs last time round. Keep me going for a little bit. See you, folks. <laughs>